Hi everyone, my name is Anne. I'm here with Ken, and I'd like to start by thanking our Kickstarter backers. And now I'm going to show you how to use our new version 3 looper. When it arrives, it's going to be on a black chipboard, and all you're going to do is sort of lift it up, and then you're going to take one of the loopers and you're just going to rock it back and forth until it releases. And then you're going to notice that there's ears on the back. So what you're going to do is either fold those forward or backwards. And this makes the looper twice as thick. It makes it the same thickness as a hobby knife blade for which the handle was intended. And then to tighten it up, you just crank it down. Then we're going to take a scrap of anything um, we're just using today's water bottle top. And what I'm going to ask you to do is make a tall drop of glue. And then you're going to take your looper and you're going to pull it through the glue. And this is going to load the glue into the looper. And then using the same motion, you're going to draw a line. And you can see how thin that is. It is 15 one thousandths of an inch thick. And that's all there is to it. With a little bit of practice, you will be an expert gluer. So I just want to talk for a moment about the version 2. And once again, Ken is going to take a drop of glue and he's going to place it on our scrap, in this case another water bottle top. And then he's going to take the version 2 and he's going to dip it into that drop. And what you're going to notice is that the glue is actually picked up in the loop, and you can see it there. And then he's going to take pre-positioned parts, and he's just going to touch the looper to the seam, and the glue is going to flow right in via capillary action. With a little bit of practice, you should end up with an invisible glue seam. A couple of things that I want to talk about, obviously we're calling this one the version 2, so I just want to back up for a moment and talk about the version 1. When we first came out with the version 1, it was made out of brass, it was rather thin, and we just had thin rabbit ears on the back that folded over. After the first thousand units were sold, we pulled 50 of our customers and we asked them what they liked and what they didn't like about the version 1. And from those responses came the version 2. And obviously the version 2 is now made out of stainless steel. And we added a fluid groove to it, which you can see on the side. So what happens is when you pick up some of the glue, or when you pick up the glue, some of it's going to travel up that channel. And this helps self-regulate the amount of glue that's in the loop, allows you to do several small applications with one dip. We also reinforced the part around the loop, and now instead of having just two rabbit ears, the entire back folds over like you saw in the beginning of the video. So I hope that this is enough information to get you started. If you have any questions, please email us. We're always available, and happy gluing!